Hello everyone, welcome back to the CX show with me, James Talk Cycling, where I'll take you through last weekend's action and look forward to the coming weekend and the return of world champion Tom Pickup. We'll start by taking a look at last weekend's action where in on Friday in the Super Prestige in Neil, Lauren Swate continued his impressive form since taking that win in the World Cup at Mass Mecklen by beating Lars van der Haar and Michael van Torn out quite convincingly. <coughs> in the women's race, we had a return to winning ways of Celine Del Carmen Alvarado. First win in a good year or two for her after the injuries, illness. It was great to see her, her back on the top and then that on Friday taking a win. She beat Betsema in a close race between them and Inga van der Heiden finished in third place. In the CX World Cup on the Sunday, we had Lauren Swake taking the win in a very, very fast paced race. The group stayed together for a very long time. Isabit was, I think, taking a while to get warmed up with obviously his sciatica. I think it's going to take him a, a while for his back to get warmed up for the next couple of races. He was there though, and he was there, and it was a very impressive ride, just not quite at the end. Uh, Lars van der Haar and Michael van Tornout finished second and third again. Van Tornout, for me, made a bit of a mistake as they headed onto the tarmac section. He had a small gap, <coughs> but I think he looked for Isabit to see where he was. And when he did that, Swake went and took the advantage and won. In the women's, it was a similarly fast paced race, uh, but it was only really between two to four riders. Van Em Paul, Peter Sir, Van Em Roy, and Voss were up, was up there as well, and Alvarado. Alvarado crashed, so that took her out of contention. And it was between, and Voss started to struggle as well. So it was between the three youngsters and on the final lap, Van Anroy put in a move on the start finish straight and Van Empel and Peter uh, switched off a bit. They didn't initially chase her and she put the perfect lap together and took the win. The three breakthrough rides for me of the weekend all came in the World Cup on the Sunday. For third place, I had Felipe Orts. He beat his eighth place from a couple of years ago to get sixth and his best result in a World Cup. Van Enroy took her first elite World Cup and her first elite victory, in a, as I said, in the perfect lap. If you could pick a perfect lap, that would be it. And my top breakthrough performance for the weekend is Joris Nievenhaus. He closed the gap with ease to Van Tornout, Van der Haar and Swaik, put the pressure on them to try and keep East of it away, and then he finished in fourth place. His first elite victory is not far away for me. Coming up in the CX world this weekend, we have the return of Tom Pidcock, the Super Prestige from Merck Plus, and the Overize at World Cup, which is one of my favourite courses because it is a demanding course. <clears throat> we'll first focus on the return of Pitcott. The big three are coming back soon, obviously. Uh, Pitcott is this weekend, and hopefully Van Aert and Van der Poel are the weekend after that. Uh, we'll be there for in Kortrijk and in Hulse for the World Cup and x Tour Bad Karma's Trophy. But this weekend, we have Tom Pitcott. Uh, the world champion is coming back on... Merck Plas, I um, think he is there on Sunday, I'm not sure. Um, he normally takes a couple of weeks to get the feel for the cross biking race pace again, as we saw last year in Boom, where he struggled against Van Aert. Um, but that being said, Overizer, if he is there, would suit him a lot. Um, 
In the Super Prestige on Saturday, we have slender leads in the competition for Denise Betsema and Lauren Swait. They both have 29 points and they've both got a two to four point lead over the next challenger. In the World Cup on Sunday, we have a slender lead for Elise a bit with Lauren Swaik's couple of wins in a row. <clears throat> but in the women's, we have a dominant leader in Fen Van Empel. And she'll look to extend that and put that out of reach as soon as she can. There we have the latest episode of the CX Show. Uh, my predictions for this weekend are Lauren Swaik to win a Merck's Plus. And I'm going to go, if he's there, Tom Pidcock in Overizer. If he isn't there, I'm going to go for Michael Van Torn out as in Overizer. It's a very similar-ish course in heart, difficulty to Namur, and he won that. So I think the European champion will get his win there if Pidcock isn't there. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next weekend before Cortrek and Holst. That's the one. <laughs> See you later.